Per report by Pittsburgh Steelers insider Mark Caboli of The Athletic, it seems as though wide receiver Tyler Boyd and the Pittsburgh Steelers are showing mutual interest in each other in free agency. So, the Pittsburgh Steelers, they have recently traded wide receiver Deontay Johnson away, and now they have a hole at the wide receiver position, and they're going to be looking to fill it, whether that's via free agency or the draft. And recently, the Athletics' Mark Caboli reports that the Steelers and the wide receiver, Tyler Boyd, have mutual interest and have talked about a deal. Here is the exact tweet from Mark Caboli. He said, Steelers and wide receiver Tyler Boyd, Pitt and Clariton have mutual interest and have had dialogue about him returning to his hometown. Nothing is imminent, but there is more than just smoke with it. Steelers need a wide receiver with Deontay Johnson traded and George Pickens only experienced wide receiver on the roster. So, Mark Aboli, like I said, he's a Pittsburgh Steelers insider, reporter, does everything like that. So him saying this, he has to have at least some sources that are giving him this information. So let's just talk about it. Let's talk about Tyler Boyd. Would he be able to fit with his team? And also, let's look at some outside options as well and the top remaining free agents at the wide receiver position because we all know the Steelers need that position. Like he said in his tweets, George Pickens is basically the only experienced wide receiver on the roster as of right now. Obviously, we still have Kelvin Austin, but last season was basically his rookie season, only playing one year in the league after getting injured his rookie year. So, George Pickens, Kelvin Austin, and then everyone else is up in the air in terms of the wide receiver position now that Deontay Johnson is gone. And they're going to be looking for free agents, so I'll get more into other free agents in a minute. But let me just talk about Tyler Boyd and his fit. So, Tyler Boyd, he's an eight-year veteran, and Boyd has spent his entire career with the Cincinnati Bengals. But he's coming off a season where he's had 67 receptions for 667 yards and two touchdowns. And for his career, he has a total of 513 receptions for 6,000 yards and 72 touchdowns. So, Tyler Boyd, he's coming off a season that really wasn't his best. That season, last season, in terms of production and yardage and everything like that, was not his best year. He did really not put up too much production, but you have to think, Tyler Boyd, he was in a Bengals team that really was struggling with the quarterback position early in the year. Joe Burrow just did not look like himself, was not throwing the ball at a very high level like we're all accustomed to in the past from him. And then he got injured. They had to move to a backup quarterback that actually started playing really well late towards the end of the season. But obviously, Jamar Chase and Higgins, they're going to be above Tyler Boyd in terms of targets, receptions, production, and just up in the depth chart than Tyler Boyd. So they're going to take away all the production from him. But he was still able to be a third receiver for the Bengals and be a fit at the slot receiver position. Like I said, Jamar Chase, Higgins, their production is going to be much higher, but they're also outside receivers. And what have the Pittsburgh Steelers been looking for for a while now? They've been looking for a slot receiver that does his job and does it at a very high level. That's why last season, in the offseason, they went out and traded for wide receiver Allen Robinson from the Los Angeles Rams because they wanted a guy to fill that slot role next to George Pickens, next to Deontay Johnson, and be the guy in the slot. Someone who could block, someone who could make contested catches, and do his job at a very high level in the slot. That's what they've been looking for. And now that they're showing mutual interest in each other and getting a deal done, Tyler Boyd's specific role for the Bengals was being a slot receiver. But before Jamar Chase even came there, he was also an outside receiver. So he could do both. He's not strictly a slot receiver, but over the years, his role has changed to be that. And that's what he does at a very high level in this league. So the Pittsburgh Steelers showing interest in that is probably for that reason. To be a slot receiver, but someone who could also do it on the outside and just do his job at a high level. The Steelers trade for Allen Robinson last season, and his production was not good either. He's coming off years of him not just being himself since the Jaguars season and since he was with the Chicago Bears in his early tenure there. So they're getting a guy with Allen Robinson that production wasn't there and that's why they cut him. 
They cut him this offseason, and they also traded Deontay Johnson this offseason. So they're looking for wide receivers. Boyd's best two seasons came in the 2018-2019 season, where he put up over 1,000 yards in both of them. But we want to see if he can get back to that. Tyler Boyd, he has that connection with the Steelers in terms of Pittsburgh because he did go to college and play at Pitt. That's why there's kind of that mutual interest in there. He's always talked about how maybe later on towards the end of his career, he would like to return to Pittsburgh and play in Pittsburgh. So he's always mentioned that in terms of interviews, press conferences, everything like that, how later towards the end of his career, he would like to return to Pitt, Pittsburgh. So maybe it's earlier than expected. Maybe it's earlier and him entering his ninth season, maybe he'll enter Pittsburgh and play with the Steelers earlier than expected because he's no longer a Cincinnati Bengal and now he is a free agent. We already see the Pittsburgh Steelers go in and get someone that was a free agent within their division in Patrick Queen who's with the Ravens. So maybe they go out and get wide receiver Tyler Boyd from the Cincinnati Bengals, someone else who is within the division. Also, whenever you hear the Pittsburgh Steelers and the Cincinnati Bengals face each other, there's always that rivalry there. Tyler Boyd has spoken out many times about the Pittsburgh Steelers and how they failed to be competitive and things like that in his press conferences, everything like that. He's a trash talker. So whenever they face the Steelers, you know it's not going to be a nice meeting, not going to be nice press conferences. So if you want to see Tyler Boyd speak with the Steelers, he always has negative things to say. But obviously that's expected because there's a rivalry. So maybe now he'll be on the opposite side of the rivalry and go against the Bengals and say some negative things about them. But Tyler Boyd, there's mutual interest there per Marco Boli, and it could really be a good fit. But he's not the only good fit that's still left at the wide receiver position because even if the Steelers don't end up signing him, there's still other wide receivers in the free agent market. So let's look at some of these guys that the Pittsburgh Steelers maybe could target in terms of free agents at the wide receiver position. The first person that comes to mind is Mike Williams because he was recently just cut by the Chargers. He's coming off an ACL injury, but he's a big time player and big time playmaker in this league. It was actually surprising that the Chargers actually cut him because of how important he seems like he was in terms of at the wide receiver position for them. So he's the first person that comes to mind when it terms of court, I mean wide receivers because he stands at six at four and he just makes that play down the field. It seems like whenever it's a jumbo opportunity, it's literally a 99% chance that he comes down with the pass. Just from watching his games, I watched a lot of Chargers games, and it seems like that deep ball is what's perfection. And what does Russell Wilson do best? The deep ball. So those two connecting on that deep ball could be immediate offense. And having a guy, a big wide receiver, they already have a big wide receiver in George Pickens, two big wide receivers, and then a slot receiver, a smaller guy, shifty guy in Kelvin Austin, that pairing could be elite. Also, another person the Pittsburgh Steelers could target is Michael Thomas. He was also recently cut by the New Orleans Saints. He's a bigger wide receiver. Him, he's not going to be making that much money in terms of his next contract because he just could not stay healthy for what it seems like like four seasons now, always with an ankle injury or whatever. So the Pittsburgh Steelers signed him to a contract. He could be a nice kind of wide receiver to go along with George Pickens on the outside, making slants and stuff of that nature. And then in the end, once again, he's a big body receiver as well. Also, just recently cut, Odell Beckham Jr. The Steelers, I don't expect them to be in the mix for him, but he was a solid guy for the Baltimore Ravens this past season, but he was gonna be making too much money, so they decided to save some cap room on him. He's still a good wide receiver in this league, and he could be a nice, decent fit with the Pittsburgh Steelers on a low contract as well. Another person on the market, who seems as though maybe they could be up for a trade. Maybe the Steelers go out and get Cortland Sutton from the Denver Broncos and go trade for him because you just seen the Denver Broncos trade Jerry Judy. So it looks like they're kind of unloading some players and they unloaded Jerry Judy for what, a late round draft pick. So maybe they get off of Cortland Sutton's contract, which he's in the third year of, and maybe the Steelers go out and pick him up and send them a late round draft pick. Who knows? But those are some wide receivers that Pittsburgh Steelers maybe could be in the mix for. Before he signed yesterday, I believe that Noah Brown could have been a really good fit for this team, but he re-signed with the Texans, so that's not up in the air anymore. But 
all in all, the Pittsburgh Steelers, they're in the wide receiver market. There's still many names out there, but these are just some of the top guys in terms of who's available. But like Mark Caboli said, I guess Tyler Boyd is the main one that they're interested in right now. They're having discussions with him, and maybe in the near future, he will be a Pittsburgh Steelers. So he went to Pitt. He's always talked about that connection, wanted to come back and play for Pittsburgh, and maybe it gets done. But with that being said, let me know your thoughts down in the comments below on this topic and in terms of Tyler Boyd maybe return to the Pittsburgh Steelers, them having mutual interest. Would you like him to return and play for the Steelers or because he was a Cincinnati Bengal, you don't want him returning? Because some people think like that too. So let me know your thoughts down in the comments below about this topic. And if he doesn't sign, what other wide receiver would you want the Pittsburgh Steelers to go out and look at in the wide receiver market and free agency? Do you want them to sign a wide receiver? Tell me a specific one. If not, let me know someone in the draft that you're looking for as well. So, with that being said, that's the end of this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Turn on notifications so you never miss out on all the news of free agency. Every single player that we sign, I'll cover. Every single re-sign, I'll cover. And rumors like this, I'll cover. So, if you want one spot for Pittsburgh Steelers news, don't want to have to go anywhere else, this is the spot for it. I've covered everything so far, and I'll continue to do so our notifications click that bell down below so you never miss out and hopefully i'm going to be making a video very soon on the pittsburgh steelers next signing but until then i'll see you guys all later until next time i'm out peace